Hi, welcome to my presentation. My name is Venkatesh Mirwade. I am a faculty in the Lyle School of Civil Engineering at Purdue University. I am presenting this talk on behalf of my co-author Marian Maste. I also want to thank my other co-authors Ibrahim Demir, Amanda Cox and Toby Minier. I will be presenting about River Morph, a web platform for enabling river morphology research. Now before we get into what is river morph, let's ask ourselves, why do we need a platform for river morphology research? And there are several reasons for that according to us. First, there is lack of easy access to locally collected data and a place to store, publish and share this data with the broader earth sciences community. Second, most river morphology data gets collected for small reaches and are not available over large areas. The idea is, if all scattered data are stored in one place, one can combine them and develop tools to integrate them to create information over large areas or scale. Third, we know that many of these datasets are collected for specific studies and are not useful for others because they are not available in the form that can be used by the wider community. So we need to have a platform to publish tools that can pre and post process river morphology data to meet the research needs of the broader community. Finally, if you are able to store and publish lots of river morphology data at one place, this will lead to development of new data driven approaches for river morphology research and applications. Now to address the research needs identified in the last slide, our team got funded by the National Science Foundation in August 2020. And you can see we are only few months into this project. What I plan to do is present our vision for this project and provide a brief overview of some of the initial developments in last few months and what we plan to do in the next three years. As I mentioned, it's a collaborative project between four institutions, Purdue University, University of Iowa, St. Louis University, and University of Colorado. Here is a vision for River Morph. It will be a user-friendly, scalable data and information system for river morphology research. It will be equipped with tools for data discovery, retrieval, analysis, integration, and knowledge generation. Given its community focus, River Morph provides tools for research, education, and community development. All this is enabled by a robust cyber infrastructure. The idea is to have all data and information connected through a framework that uses River Network as the skeleton, as you see here, on the bottom left. Here you see a cross section that is connected to a reach which is then connected to a network and which is then connected to the watershed. River Morph will host or provide access to data from multiple sources through a common entry point. It will allow users to upload data, access the stored data using basic query tools and visualize the data for basic content. It will enable seamless integration across datasets irrespective of their location and will also enable building of customized application using the data for routine management operations or exploratory scientific investigations. Now to accomplish the functionalities mentioned in the previous slide, we need to have a robust cyber infrastructure to support River Morph. This slide shows the basic architecture for River Morph that includes five layers. The front layer will allow user interaction through query and mapping interfaces. The database and web service layer will support data storage and interaction with external resources. The visualization and mapping layer will allow spatial analysis and visualization of River Morph data. The modeling layer will support data-driven analysis and modeling.
Here is a view of river features that will be supported by river morph. As mentioned earlier, we have a catchment that includes a stream network and a reach within that stream network contains river morphology data, which is very detailed. Specifically, we have river geometry in form of cross-section points, we have bed load information, and we have channel roughness information stored. There is a detailed database behind the features presented in the previous slide. And this slide just shows you connectivity in our relational database. This is an ongoing work and it will be updated with new features as we move along the project timeline in the coming years. This table shows the data sets we plan to you have in RiverMorph and some of the resources from where the data will come from and the tools that RiverMorph may host or support. This is a preliminary list and we plan to host workshops with stakeholders and partners to finalize these tables. Many of our partners that you see on the left include federal agencies including the USGS and the US Army Corps of Engineers. We also plan to host some tools as you see on the right. In these tools also include some in-house tools such as the River Channel Morphology Model RCMM and its counterpart Spring that creates synthetic bathymetry from limited field data. We also plan to demonstrate the applicability of River Morph through some use cases and here is a simple use case what you see here is a user searching for data. A user clicks on a stream network, finds a reach, and then the interface so shows a detailed view of the data available for that reach. In this case, ADCP measurements are displayed for a selected reach. One could assemble all the information available for the reach and create a 3D visualization of river morphology data collected by multiple instruments including the ADCP, multi-beam echo sounder and single beam echo sounder for detailed analysis. Here what you see is a cross-sectional view of ADCP data and then you see the multi-beam detailed bathymetry data. Here you see a close-up view of a particular location to look at bed movement. One could also get the sediment load data and map the sediment concentration shown in this image. On the left, you see calibration measurements obtained with uh, optical probes such as the LISST and on the right, you see ADP measurements using in situ calibrations. River Morph can also provide input data for long term forecasting including cross section geometries roughness values and bed material gradation. This slide shows how this information can be used to study change in bed form or elevation over a period of 50 years. So you can see that river morph will enable really cool applications. As I mentioned earlier, community input and development is also a big part of our project. We plan to host our first workshop, which will be virtual in spring 2021. Details are still being finalized and you can access our website shown here at the bottom to find more information about our project and workshop. So in summary, River Morph is a scalable platform independent resource to publish, access, visualize, and analyze river morphology data. Currently, we are developing a prototype 
and we will use use cases to demonstrate its applicability and scalability for the wider community. We are in the initial stages of development and we welcome interested partners and collaborators with interest in river morphology data and research to work with us and advance the development of this really cool river morph platform. So thank you very much for your time. And if you are interested and need more information about our project, please contact us using the information shown on this slide. I also look forward to interact with some of you during the virtual session hour and hopefully we can we can talk about further collaborations and I will be happy to answer any questions you have at that time. Thank you very much.